この番組はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りしますオーライディー welcome everyone I'm Tiabu and I am here for ドロヘドロエピソード8 apologies that this is a bit About a day later than usual. My yesterday, my Monday was filled with headaches and pain, and I decided that watching the most raucous, grungy, like violent,、uh, sometimes very loud show was probably not the best idea and probably wouldn't make for a very good reaction while I was like clutching my skull in, in agony. So, decided to just put it off. For a day. And so here we are、uh, with a very packed Tuesday because I still have c h a t y a f u r u to do and I don't know what the hell I'm going to do about Retro Monday Overdrive. I might just move it to Thursday. We'll see. In any case, we're going to watch some Doro Hedoro. Got to keep caught up because I want to keep caught up with this show. It's a lot of fun.、Uh, let's talk about what happened last week.、Uh, I went back through the episode because. Jesus, a lot happened last week.、Uh, N discovers Ebisu's smoke selling. Fujita can't find a partner. Poor, 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 unpopular boy.、Uh, we met 13, a weird sharky boy who is super into Nikaido and really pisses Kaiman off. We'll see if that grows into anything. I assume it will. And then we were led into an inter hospital baseball match between the something or other worms and the, the peace sharks, which is ridiculous.、Um, which was definitely the stars of the match were Johnson and Matsumura.、Uh, Uh, or、uh, Matza Frankenstein.、Um, yeah, we got blessed by the appearance of Ebisu Shark, which was wonderful and, and very cute,、uh, until we went flushed back to End's place where we accidentally lizardified Noi with the smoke that Ebisu had been selling because somebody was clumsy.、Um, at which point she turned into a gigantic Ripley esque demon lizard monster and、uh, had a bit of a fight with Shin, which he. One, uh, mostly. Uh, then we met the dispeller Chota, who was introduced,、uh, in a very, a very interesting way where N was like a cool ass dispeller, and then we meet Chota, and he's ridiculous and apparently super in love with N, which is pretty cool. Um, Does his dispelling thing, makes a little demon statue, puts it in her mouth,、uh, Miracle Max style.、Uh, at which point, Ebisu is unleashed because Matsumura Frankenstein goes crazy because he hasn't been charged in a while. Like, uh, uh, imagine if your phone battery died and it just like, went on a rampage and tried to murder you.、Um, gets picked up by the head and Oof, smoke goes everywhere, and she turns into a gigantic Ripley esque lizard monster, fights around for a bit,、uh, gets it all done and dealt with because she murderifies Matsumura into nothingness,、um, and has a bit of a revelation while she's under.、Uh, she remembers what the man in the mouth says, and the implication is that he said that she's the one. But we don't know yet because we don't know yet.、Uh, maybe we'll find out in the next episode. Maybe we won't. I don't know. So that's about where we are left sitting.、Uh, Abisu has had some kind of revelation. Shin and Noi are all okay ish, although Shin has had chunks of his、uh, intestines removed, which might be bad. I think Noi can heal him and it'll be fine.、Uh, that's it. I'm half expecting that we go in a completely different direction with this episode and have like a one off weird homage thing to something else because we've just come to this like seemingly critical part of the story. And it would be very funny if the author was just like, haha, you don't get to find out about that for another couple chapters. Ha 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 ha. Um, we'll see. In any case, I'm excited to see what happens next and to see what ridiculousness this show pulls out of its ass.、Uh, there has been plenty so far and there will be plenty to come, I'm sure. So let's watch Doro Hedoro episode 8. I've got the episode up and ready to go. I'm using the Judas subs as usual for me. I hope that's okay.、Uh, and we're, we're just going to watch it. I, there will be two versions of this reaction video. You can find a picture in picture version with the video up there, linked in the description, and a timer based version up on YouTube. If you want to do a sync thing with the timer based version and sync up your own copy of the episode, you are welcome to.、Just Just、get your copy ready because the beep beep timer to count you down will be coming at you now, and I need a new page of notes. Okay. Oh, hi. Oh,、uh, good luck, bud. Just gonna take a bite. Oh, there it g o <laughs> It's a pretty dope chair, dude. Sure. Sure. 
sounds like what we're looking for. If. Yeah, tell us what you found out. We're going to cut to OP before she says it, isn't, aren't we? Oh. The one who got in my way. Sure. This track is great for this purpose. Ah. Always. Ooh. Ow. It's like the worst infected tattoo ever. Ugh. What? Well, that won't last. Ha 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 ha. Nope, he disappeared. Hi, Johnson. What is this slight camera movement? You see that? How long has that been happening that I haven't noticed it? Indeed, Johnson. Indeed. Alright, so he's going alone to the world of sorcerers because he thinks, he thinks that being there will help return his memories. Dumb, dumb lizard boy. <laughs> Still curious when Johnson's going to become a little bug. Little cockroach. I'm glad I waited the day. It would have been impossible to not along with this song with a, a splitting migraine. <laughs> and it, I think nodding along with it is a necessary part of the experience. Sure. Pasta. It's a it's an Italian pasta stand like a ramen stand. That's so cool. All right. That's a devil skeleton. Whoops. Blue Knight. Okay. Caspiel. Oh, geez. It's one of them parks. This is straight up Central Park. We got hobos on benches. We got drug pushers. Yeah, what is this blue knight thing? Oh. Oh, that's a trash can right there.
Is he fuzzy? What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> you might have a job offer waiting for you. <laughs> Hey, you're pretty good. Wanna be an enforcer? Nice. Oh, well, he definitely isn't going to hold a grudge about something. She, sorry. Wouldn't have been able to tell. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. To sell as partners? Yeah, what's it made of? Roro. What's with your face, dude? They're using other sorcerers as practice. I still don't get that. All right. That makes sense. Oh, he's wearing a person suit. What the fuck? Hi? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Awesome! And ridiculous. Is that Risu? Sounds like mechanical legs. Huh. Not checking your mail, eh? <laughs> Beer's probably okay. You sure did. Oh, his hair wasn't all as that spiky. Okay. Wonder who his partner was. Oh, I guess that's him. Gotcha. All right. Well, I gotta write down partner. Because I thought I understood what that meant, and now I know that I don't have any idea what that meant. Yeah. Maybe we'll dig a little bit into that in this episode. Jesus, what the fuck? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. And that was what he saw. The spiked hair. Now we got an interesting mystery. Will they come after you again? Ah.
Gonna go seek out your partner. Okay. Hmm. What kind of meat do we use in these, by the way? Oh. Those bugs have something to do with it? <laughs> Eating your own wares. <laughs> Boy, he changes his voice. <laughs> Costume fitting? Sure. He was expecting the mushrooms. Oh, geez. He is so that cat owner. <laughs> <laughs> That's not happening, bud. Sorry. Ooh, so cruel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> she gonna go for a, a big old padded bra. <laughs> Define traces. Smoke inspection. Okay. Aw. These timestamps are interesting. Is everything mushroom related? Oh boy. <laughs> what do you do? Break off chunks? <laughs> Horoscopes, bud. Jesus, that's a long play. The two ruled this world to get... Okay, there was some lore dump there, but... Too weird, and we only got little segments of it. Kikaraga is pretty fucking cute. Okay, the bugs are everywhere now. Seems like a fair bet. Sweet. Oh, never mind. Nope. No, that doesn't work at all. <laughs> yeah, no, take those off. The mushroom cane. <laughs> Uh Just wear flats, girl. You're tall. You're tall as fuck. Just wear flats. Okay, what is she? What is what?
What? What? Is that permanent? Oh, he's going to the party. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> yeah, totally. Sorcerer bro, just like you. I know, know all that stuff, totally. Haha. <laughs> Okay. All right. At least he's not going into the middle of something he definitely doesn't understand. Although he already is. Shit. Oh boy. Well, there we go. Hmm. Don't have your knives, don't have your stuff. Shit. Oh, that's very Alice in Wonderland. Actually, the whole thing is very Alice in Wonderland. Guess you don't need your knives. Holy shit. Oh, thanks, bud. <laughs> yeah, no. Lucky. Yeah, let's get the let's get the speech. No, it's weird. I, I really don't under... Oh. Please, no. Nope. <laughs> Thanks, Chota. Uh. 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 <laughs> That makes sense. <laughs> Aww. Oh! Sorry, Abisu. Hmm? 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 Sure. Uh, you're being put in the main event. <laughs> Spike sticking out. <laughs> oh, the presentation. Oh. That's correct. Huh? So it's a form of death game. I fully believe you. Poof into mushrooms. Uh, uh.
Yeah. That guy. Uh... Okay. You have been attacked. All right, getting in early. I, that must be him. Did you feel that? Is there some kind of bond between... There is. Okay, the evidence of time magic. If she used it at any point, it would show up on camera as something weird. <laughs> that. <laughs> oh! We're in an arc now. For at least a little while. Okay. Oh, okay, we're doing the same walkie thing. But new song. And it's a groovy one. What's with the bugs? <laughs> oh, that's great. That horn in there, yeah. I guess it's probably trumpet. I don't. I don't. Or sax. I. Don't, I don't fucking know. I don't know. I don't know shit. Sure. Sure. Yeah. That's still a mystery. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I think the biggest takeaway for me is just because just because it was a surprising bit of a revelation and sort of a slow burning one. Um I don't know why, but I sort of just in my head assumed that when they were talking about partners, they were talking about like in a mob boss, like they're, they're essentially mafia members. They go around doing things. Shin and Noi are partners in that sense. Like they've been assigned together, buddy cop style, right? No, it's an integral part of the sorceress landscape. Like there's something else to it that one seems to give them some kind of psychological link to each other two is actually for a large period of time it seems to be decided every four years and three is like serious business uh and like gender in it doesn't seem to matter it's just that two people are partnered with each other and the extent to which they're partnered is still unclear but it's a contractual thing with a devil and it has some effect on their magic because the boy that guy uh who who works at the the pie place said that he's looking for someone who will bring out the best of his magic so there's something else to it and then we get all these little bits and hints and 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 little little tiny things like the the bugs are weird and they seem to be the indicator of blue knight coming around so i assume those blue bugs only breed or something every four years maybe um or only fly every four years on a schedule sort of monarch butterfly style but weird and twisted by magic i don't know um and then we got the play, which was really well conveyed as like, oh, this is it, it's it's like watching um perfect perfect analogy would be it's like watching the 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 play of the nativity, right? We've all probably seen it. Uh, if you live in a moderately Christian country, you've probably seen it at some point or are at least aware of it. 
something that happens every year and it's always the same and and everybody's bored by it but we all watch it because it's tradition that was what was conveyed by the way that we watched the the weird play with the devils and and some crazy lore dumps about this universe that we exist in what the hell that's pretty interesting jesus christ this episode is jam-packed with just shit happening things happening and it still manages to to squeeze in some some goofy moments and some some fun and strange comedy uh and just just weirdness like Ebisu wanting wanting uh big old titties and getting them somehow uh I, maybe maybe the the dressmaker or tailor that they were working with has magic that like lets him imbue clothing with the ability to alter other people's bodies uh, that would make sense for a tailor all right so so okay sky shown blue because of all the bugs this again the two devils combine their forces against something larger and also devilish hiya and so the two ruled hell together so it's an, it's an origin story about the current rulers of hell? Possibly. And it has something, their, their partnership has something to do with the tradition of partnerships in the future and in the present. I guess. Okay. Weird. So we've got... We've got a mystery around Risu's death, who killed him and why. We've got the existing mystery around Kaiman, who turned him into a lizard and why. Seems that we have an answer, and the answer is Ebisu, but we don't know to what extent or why or what the fuck is oops, what the fuck is actually going on on that front. Uh, and then we've got like a time concern where N is getting closer to the trail of Nikaido, and we've got a stranger in a strange land plot with Kaiman being here and working in this place and and doing what he can to try and figure out more stuff about himself and more of his memories. It seems like if they if they find any camera footage, depending on how Nikaido's, we're gonna go with the assumption Nikaido's a time stopper. We we know that pretty well at this point, um, or a time alterer, I should say. They if they go through the security camera, depending on how it works, whether it's like radial sort of, I'm I'm imagining it as, uh, sorry, but Rolo Lamp Rouge. That's what I'm imagining here. Ability to affect things within a bubble of you. Um, then the camera may or may not show something weird, like a blip of teleportation or something else very strange, if she used it. But she said she wasn't going to use it. Gosh, curiouser and curiouser, man. I feel like this was an excellently paced episode. It's, it's, it flew by, and a lot of that is just because they threw so much shit at the wall. Um, and we kind of... Guys, there are so many interesting ideas. The first one that, that really caught my attention was this uh, pasta stand, but as a ramen cart with all of the Italian branding all over it. That's freaking awesome. That's such a, a weird and, and interesting idea. All right, we got the upside down crosses everywhere. Uh, we, we really show this devil skeleton um, just by framing it so that when our focus of attention, when Kaiman leaves, that's the thing that we see behind it. That's pretty interesting. I wonder why that's there. I don't know. This world is just so rich and and chock full of different things. It's it's strange. It's a it's a tasty cupcake with way too many sprinkles, but somehow it actually tastes good. I I don't know. I don't understand where the mask and suit ends and the human person begins here. I don't know why the fuck he's wearing like a slightly fuzzy fat suit over himself. It's just strange. It is, it is, it is just strange to me. Holy shit. Okay. And he's got weird glove things. All of the masks are strange. And then we go ahead and we, we get ourselves a jab. Man, Kaiman, you, you dumb luck filled bastard. Jesus. Yeah, I'm looking at his gloves again. I don't think, he, he's not the guy who attacked Noi, right? Oh, in fact, you know what? They were standing in the line for the other party, so he, he couldn't get into the other party. Cool. 
All right, partners, partners, partners. It's not all right to go with my partner as usual. And then the big indicator is that his partner is not a member of the gang. They're partnered. They're like a married couple in a weird way, but as sorcerers. What does that ha what, what does that mean? What does that mean for them? It means they're just homies? It seems to be a little deeper than that. It doesn't have any indication that it's romantic or sexual or anything like that. It's all about power. But and and protecting each other's back. So it's built into the tradition of our world. Okay. And then we spill his blood all over this gigantic, horrifying demon statue of Orcus alike, with the big spikes and the pig nose. Jesus. I wonder if that has any bearing on his own new, now spiky hair. I don't know. Alright, so he's running out of smoke and is going to go out and seek his old partner who may or may not be alive. Well, we don't know. And Blue Knight is coming close, which is kind of a, a burden and an annoyance, but also a thing that they're all looking forward to. How interesting. I feel like they could they could leverage this ability to just like get people to give over their smoke uh, in order to seek out specifically interesting magic users. I guess that's part of the point. Or I guess that's part of what uh, having power in this society grants you. Man, in this first shot of her outfit, I thought it looked so good. And then we see this, and it's like, nah. Nah. Never mind. Take the heels off, girl. Fine without them, you're tall. Uh, wonder if we'll ever get anything interesting about this one who's apparently female. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, alright. I assume that they're partners. Cool. So, Kaiman's got a job in the sorcerer world. He's just living there undercover, occasionally infiltrating super high highfalutin parties and murdering guards and stuff. You know, the Kaiman stuff. Uh, I, I do want to see this one cut of the sexy dance. The whole, the whole Ebisu with the giant titties thing, I don't really care for. <laughs> That's ridiculous. All right. Cool. And then we got a new ED. Which was kind of, kind of bouncy and fun. I liked it. All in all, pretty fun episode. Whole lot of progression in directions that I did not expect at all. A uh, lot of fun gags. A lot of interesting stuff. Nikaido is alone at home and Kaiman is alone in the sorcerer world. Everything can go wrong. <laughs> we'll see how it goes wrong. Or right. I don't know. Curious about who it is. Oh, that's the, the, the scream. Oh, okay, I see. I, I wonder if all of the, the paintings with mushrooms in them have some kind of specific reference to them. I assume so. Because I, I noticed a few of them in the background. I just didn't put them together that they were actually references. Cool. Wonder, quite curious who this guy would be. Looking for a checkered black and white, uh, almost chessboard pattern shirt. And a weird arm gauntlet thing that shoots his smoke out of, I guess, those are the tubes inside his arm itself. So he's just got a gauntlet to keep his wrist open. Jesus. That seems kind of fucked. Alright. Cool. Weird episode. A lot of questions. A couple of answers. Ebisu apparently is the one. Uh, a lot more questions than answers. Curious to see how long this little Blue Knight arc goes. It might might just be one more episode, but it feels like we might be might be digging into something a little bit more. I don't know, with a little bit more to it. Cool with me. Okay, I think that'll be a wrap for Doro Herodo today. I've been Tiabu. This has been, as I said, Doro Herodo. Uh, it, it was pretty good and pretty weird, and uh, I'm glad I waited the day to watch it. Sorry again. We'll see you next week for episode nine. Peace.